What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another CHH today. And guys, if you haven't checked out my new blog site, CHH Now, you need to go to it. It would be a card up here some way in the link below. Let's get into this, man. But it's an article that I was reading on rapzilla.com and I thought that was very interesting. And I want to kind of put it out there, have a group discussion like I do on my channel and kind of talk about this. So the title of the article was The State of Christian Rap and Why It's Not Played on the radio and it comes from the elevation conference so it was a three person panel it was Derek Miner it was spec house and he's a producer he produced for people like B Rose and it's also Chad Horton who is the owner of Rapzilla so it and it was hosted by Justin uh Starsky I probably Justin if you're watching this I'm probably butchering your name I am so sorry. So from now on, we're gonna call him Justin. So Justin is a is a the head writer of Rapzilla. He also own co-owns New H2O. So on reported by Justin, he asked the panel just simply, why doesn't Christian rap get radio play on Christian stations? Might have said the main thing is that those who fund the radio station don't like rap. And then he said, quote, most Christian radio stations are built off their donor base. Minor says, usually rap music is a younger person's genre. Younger people are not donors to these radio stations. Their market is usually 40 and up and suburban. Hip hop is more prevalent in the city. So those donors don't really like the genre. And Chad Horton, and Chad and Horton doesn't think that it's the main issue. And Chad Horton said that everyone likes hip hop, especially white people. The biggest name in the genre is Eminem. The biggest rapper connected to Christian hip hop is an elf. And please, people, do not come from my head. Okay, this is what Rapzilla said. Do not come for me right now, people. I don't. I don't want to deal with it in the comment section. Anyway, he said white kids are the ones buying music of most, much of the music. Also, hip hop has been around so long that those who are running the industry including those radio stations grew up alongside hip-hop and then horton said everyone likes hip-hop pretty much so i think it's much it might be a deeper issue well i think it might be a racial issue horton said you know spec house uh commented as well he said that the radio executive play songs that the soccer mom would listen to. They will not listen to Tyler, the creator song. But once an artist like Kanye West become associated with pop culture or a celebrity, they will then listen to them. And he says, when you start rapping to a Christian, some things when I start rapping and getting in, into it, everybody in the youth group loved it. All the parents loved it and all and all listened to rap. But the pastor was like, we are not letting you rap in our church. It made no sense. Had no base basis that's what the radio people are they just can't cross the line because a lot of their investors don't want to spec house described and then um dj Mike v you know brought the track check your heart featuring no big deal 1k few and comedian john chris he said nothing with the track from a production or a genre viewpoint is different but because a caucasian john chris rapped on the track radio stations wanted to pick it up and then Derek minor also mentioned uh his billboard charting song change the world with holland so a few weeks he said there was no rapping on the tracks even stations like air one didn't pick up the track and he said this is chess guys you have to sign it to play chess so they go into you know Derek money gives an example of how doc watson his business partner was simply uh, producing his record but once the label got to a certain level Doc Watson had to step back and let Derek Miner run the creative side. And and um, Derek Miner had to step back and let Doc Watson handle the business side, even though Derek Miner went to school for business, uh, music business. But here's what I think. Uh, I think they're right. I, I, and then they also talked about how Christian hip hop doesn't need radio. They don't need radio. They've been doing fine without it. And I think to a certain extent, they may be right. And even though streaming is a much, it's so powerful. You know, you can take a record that you did at your house 
and depending on the playlist depending on the streaming depending on the momentum that you can get you can take a song and make it to a a, a really viral thing a lot of people in our space did just that they didn't spend a whole lot of money on production or or just recording purposes they went took the song and not a song blew up but i do think that radio does play a part when it comes to reaching the billboard charts when it comes to getting certain awards when it comes to doing different things that we cannot do unless we are at a level or we get certain funds that that radio does play some benefits and i'm, I'm not gonna lie so i i do think that with christian hip hop it's a catch-22 but i believe a lot of the artists need to just simply try to get on the hip-hop stations and figure out that that momentum i think that that would be more beneficial for us and i think that once we get more momentum in the mainstream hip-hop scene as far as radio i, I think that the christian radio stations will kind of buy on because like i said before with dj Mark v said that check your heart he said that because john chris was pretty much white they wanted to jump on it and the production wasn't different uh they had dj Mark v and they had um they had no big deal and 1k few but even those artists who are well established in their brand had to have a a big up from john chris and john chris is not even a rapper so i do think that we do need radio because it does help i'm not even gonna lie to you but i do feel like we should try to take other routes other revenues kj52 talks about this a lot and i, I don't see why we have to we have to conform you know uh so i just want you to kind of uh read the article if you haven't read it it'd be in the description below let me know what you think about the, the certain dynamic between radio and christian hip-hop i mean i reported about this and spoke about this for a while as far as the the kind of rift between the christian hip-hop fans uh the radio and the music business side of it and also just as far as the artists and chad horton said this uh and one last thing before i go he said that a lot of people uh wanted to intern at rapzilla because they rap and you know it's like look dude you, you can't do that because you have an agenda if you come up here to intern just to rap and i and i feel them but i do but I, I feel them i i don't think that if you're coming to intern to work for a particular company that your main thing should be your music your main thing should be to help out and and bless rapzilla for that particular time once you finish your internship then if you wanted to take it to another level with your music you can but the main aim shouldn't be like i'm gonna use rapzilla or any type of blog site or any type of uh christian hip-hop music business to kind of launch my own thing and i think that he's right when there's everybody that wants to be a rapper nobody wants to be behind the scenes man and that hey it's coming from a rapper i'm a rapper but at the same time i, I own and i and operate christian hip-hop now podcast the blog site i do my youtube channel so i do other things that's music business wise that doesn't necessarily mean that i rap so they make great points and i just need you to comment section below man i am super close to a thousand subscribers man i've been working at this for two years now so if you're kindly watch this video and you kindly can hit that subscribe button button and also that notification button let your boy know every time i drop a video i drop a video three times a week monday wednesday and friday so again it's the entertainer the motivator the educator and please don't forget all three lucky murray back with another chh today and guys the state of christian hip hop and radio it's kind of a complicated situation but uh write your comment section down below and uh until next time people